teachers go through a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. Kids go through a lot of pain. What we're going to test right now is the opacity of the paint, which is why we picked black and white, and we're going to put it over top of newsprint. Okay. So all we're going to do is take first the school smart, and you get to test school smart this time. All right. So you and I are going to test just different colors. So we're both using school smart. We're going to put a little bit of a little dollop of paint on the newsprint. Doesn't have to be very big at all, and it's really going to be about the coverage. So if you could. Do a drawdown. Okay. And then set that aside. And we'll take a new brush to do the next national brand. Okay. Number one. And it's always important to shake your your paint. Absolutely. Typically we'd shake a little bit longer than we have, um, but we pre-shook these. So again, just do another drawdown. Set to the side and we'll do the last one. So give it a good shake. Oh, the teacher's really gonna have to shake this one up. This is a big bottle of yeah, paint. And it's really quite heavy. And this one's it is. Open. Now, what did you notice with that one? This one is, is probably the thickest that came out. Yes. And a lot came out, more than what I wanted, which means that you're wasting paint. Right. It's gonna lay down thicker. Mm -hmm. Although with the white, it actually laid down a little bit thinner. The key with paint is you want it to have that good coverage. You also don't want the product to crack when it dries. The worst thing in the world is to have an art teacher work with right. a student for a week on a project, get done with it, and have all the paint flaking off of it. So we make sure that our paint does not crack when it dries. Mm -hmm.